everyone. My name is Julia and welcome to lesson number eight. Wow, I can't believe we're on lesson number eight. Um, this is the Flow Acrylic Ministry hosted by Jules Artsy Boutique. And today we're going to be doing a canvas dipping technique. And the topic is how do we reflect Christ? And so once in my, in my prior lessons, I have referred to several times of us kind of trying to be a reflection of Christ in the way we live our lives so that we are, are loving and showing grace to others. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that today. So before we begin, um, I'd like you to join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for today. I just thank you for another day that we get to experience you lord and experience uh, your blessings and experience your love through jesus father i pray that you would teach us today how to be a better reflection of your son jesus lord that we would um be like a mirror image of him to others in our lives lord so i just pray that today you would just show us your truth and teach us your ways and help us uh, to learn how to be a better reflection of christ in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the what you're going to need special for this lesson is you're going to need some type of surface that is flat that has some type of plastic down because we're actually going to be putting the paint on the surface and not on the canvas today, at least to begin with. So what I'm going to use is I kind of have a a piece of plastic here that I have sitting on my um, pieces of wood and I have one of those doggy pads that's used to you know to put down for the dogs to be able to potty on but instead of using the absorbent side I'm actually going to use the back side that is plastic so it's actually um, like a, a plastic top and I'm gonna put that down and we're gonna actually be putting the paint on this surface. So in the Old Testament, God gave a man named Moses uh, what's known as the Ten Commandments. And these Ten Commandments were given to Moses by God. And we're kind of to teach mankind, to teach humanity, uh, what is considered sinful and what the things that we shouldn't be doing. And so he kind of established for all humanity um, what's known as the law. And if you think about it, most of the laws in the United States, as well as uh, laws in general in this world, can really be tied back to one of the Ten Commandments. And the problem is, is that as humans, we're sinful. And we mess up and we, there's no human being on this earth ever for all eternity, except for Jesus, that has followed the Ten Commandments perfectly. I mean, we just, we can't do it. We, 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 are, we are not perfect people. And so in the New Testament, when Jesus was with his disciples, one of the disciples asked Jesus, Jesus, out of, out of your commandments that you gave to us, which one is the most important? So he was trying to kind of, he was actually kind of testing Jesus to see what he would say of which of those commandments given to us were the most important. And Jesus kind of replied, shocking everyone, by saying, and this is in Matthew 22, uh, 30 verses 36 through 40 teacher which is the greatest greatest commandment in the law Jesus replied love the Lord your God with all of your heart with all of your soul and with all of your mind this is the first and greatest commandment and the second is like it love your neighbor as yourself all of the law and the prophets hand on these two commandments and that's Matthew 22 verses 36 through 40 so he is saying there basically that if you love the Lord your God and you love your neighbor as yourself you will basically be able to fulfill 
um, all of the Ten Commandments because essentially those Ten Commandments are giving us a kind of guideline of how to be loving. <laughs> And so today as we talk about how, how do we reflect Christ, we reflect Christ by essentially doing this, by fulfilling the greatest commandment, which is to love our Lord, our God, with all of our heart and with all of our soul and with all of our mind and love our neighbor as ourself. So today we're going to think about this kind of flat surface, our plastic surface. We're going to think about that as... And the, the paint that's going to be poured out on this as being like Jesus. Because Jesus, his, uh, his death on the cross was like his blood being poured out for us. So we're going to think about that as Jesus. And then we're going to think about our canvas as being us. And then, like always, God is the painter. And so for this first um, portion... We're going to actually pour the paint on our flat surface in roughly the shape of your canvas. And I actually, I think I'm going to see if I can find a marker. I'm actually going to kind of roughly mark off my canvas. That way I know like where I need to put my paint. And it doesn't have to be exact. And so while you are pouring your paint into on this flat surface, I want you to contemplate um, what does it mean to you to reflect Christ? Um, or another would be like, what does it mean for you to put on Christ? So I want you to think about that while um, you are pouring this paint down. And I'm just going to put white along these edges and um, and then I'm gonna put my colors in the center here. So, for me, I think my, what I think about, about, like, if I, being a reflection of Christ, I think that that has probably, it's, pro, it's changed a lot through the years, as I feel like even now, Sometimes I really struggle with how to love people and and maybe maybe things that I thought I was doing in love I've as I've gotten older I've come to realize that those things actually weren't as near as loving as maybe I thought they were because um I sometimes find it challenging to know how to love people and I feel like that's a lesson that I continue to have to learn and that God continues to teach me even now. If I had to say what is like my greatest life lesson by God, it would be and continues to be on how to be more loving to people. And so um, I think how I view what or how I view reflecting Christ has greatly changed um, over the years. my dogs have something they're barking at. I'm not sure exactly what.
So, when I was in, like, you know, in high school and stuff, you know, my main focus was mainly on trying to love, um, you know, my family members, my parents, and I didn't always maybe do that the best of, or I, I think I, you know, have realized there are a lot of things that I did maybe as a teenager that weren't as loving as I should have been. Um, and then in college, it was more about, I think, trying to love my fellow um, college students. And I was a gymnast, and so my teammates, through various things of helping them to just spending time with them, being a good friend, um, and, and whatnot. And so that was kind of like my way of trying to reflect Christ. And, um, so at various like seasons in my life, I felt like there's, I've kind of had different ways. And so for right now, even in this quarantine, to me, it's like actually the most loving thing I can do a lot of times is stay away from people. And so, which is kind of counter, right? We typically wouldn't say staying away from people is loving, but right now, Sometimes the most loving thing I can do is really to maybe keep a distance from people. And, um, and similarly, I feel like just in this season of my life, the Lord has kind of shown me how a lot of times I used to think of maybe the loving thing to do would be to help someone or do something. or But realizing that sometimes the most loving thing I can do is really to respect someone else's boundaries or respect someone else's a need for, for a certain thing. Um, and, and seeing how love, uh, respect in itself is also a form of love. And so that's something that the Lord has been kind of showing me more recently on how to be more maybe respectful to certain people as a form of reflecting Christ. So we poured out our paint and uh, onto our flat surface and remember we were saying that the paint is kind of representing of Jesus like Jesus sees blood being poured out for us and for the next step we're going to take our canvas and we're actually going to lay the canvas flat down on top of this paint and we're going to kind of press down and let it kind of sit there and so while you are doing that I want you to think about how have you had anyone in your life put on Christ for you or someone that did a really good job of reflecting Christ for you and what was it that they did or what was it about them that made them a reflection of Christ so you're gonna while we're putting our canvas down I want you to kind of contemplate maybe someone in your life that you feel like has done a really good job of reflecting Christ to you and I'm going to set this down here. And I'm going to kind of gently tap on and try to get some of the air bubbles of this. And I'm going to try to press down on like underneath the wooded part of this canvas a little bit, just applying a little pressure. And you can kind of meditate on whether there's been someone in your life that has done a good job of reflect, reflecting Christ for you. Okay. And then for the last stage, what we're going to do is we're going to try to gently lift the canvas. And I'm, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to, I'm kind of trying something new. So I'm going to try to, when I lift the canvas, I'm going to kind of turn the canvas or, uh, canvas or swivel the canvas a little bit. And while you're doing this, I want you to contemplate in what ways do you feel like right now in your life that you are reflecting Christ? Or kind of in what ways do you feel like 
you aren't re reflecting Christ very well that um, that maybe you could improve on your your reflection of Christ and I'm going to take this canvas and I'm just gonna gently lift up and turn it over and I'm gonna kind of um, let the paint run down a little bit so that my yellow is in the middle and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna kind of set it aside so I kind of talked about I feel like what something that like the Lord has maybe convicted me of is that um, there are certain people in my life, particularly maybe my parents, that I've been disrespectful at times, or maybe, um, you know, certain people that maybe I didn't agree with them on certain things, and how because I didn't agree with them or, or whatnot, that I was disrespectful to them, and that in my by being disrespectful to someone else that I am not actually reflecting Christ very well and that really by showing someone respect I can actually better love them and it's not about it doesn't mean I have to agree with the person it doesn't mean that I have to even like the person <laughs> maybe maybe they're maybe they're maybe they are incorrect maybe what they're doing is wrong but that by disrespecting them, that I'm actually making the situation worse rather than better. And so that's something that I feel like the Lord in my life over the past kind of six months really has convicted me of and is trying to and continues to show me ways in which maybe I can love people better by showing them more respect, even when I disagree or even when I think what they're doing is incorrect or even when... Um, uh, sorry, the itchy was about to walk through all that paint that I just set aside. Even when, um, maybe it is a challenging situation. Um, because Jesus, even though he, uh, often was teaching people and often he was proposing hard questions and even though he was often contradicting people, at the same time, he also showed people a lot of respect. Um, and so that's another thing, just like when I read about like the things Jesus did, I think I'm starting to realize how many of those things were um, about respect. So for me, personally, that's how I feel like the Lord is working in my life to help me um, be a better reflection of Him. And for the last thing, we're going to heat our painting. And I really like how this painting turned out. I think this is very cool. And remember, if you're heating this, that you don't want to hold the flame too close or too long. So we have to be very, very gentle or you will burn the paint, which is not going to be good. So let me see if I can give you a little bit of a close-up. This painting turned out very cool. I really like the colors. So thank you for joining us for lesson number eight about how do we reflect Christ. And I hope you will join us for lesson number nine. And we're going to learn more about what love is and how we love people. God bless. Jesus loves you.